today and I'm downtown Los Angeles with major film events here on the red carpet about to talk to the writers, the directors, the producers of all the films tonight at the festival and we have a special screening tonight of LGBT films. Hey, this is Kimberly with Major Film Events. We're here at the New Filmmakers Los Angeles um, LGBT Film Festival series. Really? Yeah. Oh my uh, god, did you just out me? Was I not supposed to? We gotta talk, we'll be back. <laughs> uh, so I am here with the lovely Miss Jillian. Help me with your last name. Arminante. That's very difficult. It's Italian. How long did it take you to learn how to spell that? Fourth grade. That's interesting. It is. <laughs> okay. So she is the director producer of the feature like series of the evening, Kittens in a Cage. So tell me about this web series. Like, why did you come up with it? Why did you get behind it? Honestly, I read a fantastic play that was uh, produced in Seattle at Annex Theater by Colleen Conway Blanchard, and I had to make it a show because I just thought it was the funniest script I've read in like 20 years, and I, I called her up and I was like, can I have your script? Can I make it a screenplay? And she was like, sure. And so we, uh, we filmed it and we had such a great time, and I'd do it again in a heartbeat. That's awesome. Everyone's rooting for a season two. I've talked to a lot of your actors tonight, a lot of the people involved. They all speak so highly of you. What do you have to say about the crazy cast that I've met tonight? The cast is pretty special. I fed them a lot of Takate in lieu of payment. And uh, we formed a little scrappy family and uh, we're very grateful and, you know, we, we had a good time, so. Did you throw in some limes with the Takate? No, no, no. We didn't have any budget for that, but, you know. <laughs> You know, in a lime shortage, you know. Honestly, it, it ain't no fun unless it's fun. The only people who got limes had scurvy. Well, good, that's good of you. Thank you. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Holy God. Yeah. So yesterday was pretty big, huh? Oh, yesterday was huge. Yeah. Yes. Like, what happened? Uh, the whole Supreme Court um, allowed... Um, homosexuals to federally be united eternally and I mean <laughs> um, so which is cool um, I'm here with my lovely bride of 20 years no actually we're only married for 15 but we got we hooked up 20 years you know you um, got in there yeah I did well metaphorically was that inappropriate welcome to the fold <laughs> <laughs> And I, uh, you're gonna be best friend. Never. No, never mind. My wife's upset. Hey. Our feature series tonight is Kittens in a Cage, which we have these two lovely ladies. You want to introduce yourselves? Sure. I'm Rebecca Field. I'm Sadie Alexandru. And tell me about the characters you each play. I play uh, Janine in the series, and I'm a uh, axe murdering ex beauty queen. That sounds exciting. <laughs> I play Jackie. Um, and what can I say about me? I'm, I'm angry. <laughs> You're just angry all the time? Like, do you ever smile? Um, yeah, when I get people in trouble. <laughs> That's awesome. It's like the, the bully on the playgrounds, kind of. Yeah. Awesome. So what was it like working with, like, the cast and, like, working with this culture of the LGBT community? And, like, what, like, what, what is Kittens in a Cage? I mean, it's, you know, the thing that was, I thought was great is that it was just a bunch of amazing women, the, my experience in it, because mine was all with the women in prison, etc. So these incredible and incredibly talented women that we just had a ball. I think um, Jillian Armanente, she's an edgy kind of girl, and she just lets all her women go to their most powerful, angry, funny, disgusting side. That sounds like a lot of fun. I kind of wish I could go on set now and like go back in time and see what happens. Okay, well let's get a season two yeah, and then you season can. Season two. Season two, we're gonna cross our fingers. So what have I seen you in in the past? You're very familiar faces, both of you. So like for audience members. Audience members. Um, I just was on a series with Jennifer Love Hewitt, The Client List. I did a huge arc on Grey's Anatomy last year and right now you can see me on uh, on-demand movies. You could check me out on Horrible Bosses too. I love Horrible Bosses too. Love Grey's Anatomy. It's my favorite. You're a phenomenal talent. And what can I see you in? Uh, well, I guess the thing I love the most that I did, I, I did a recurring arc on uh, Mad Men. I played a character called Scarlet. Um, so that's one of my favorite things. Can you tell me like your favorite, favorite, favorite kittens in a cage moment? 
Um, I think my scene tap dancing with Jillian and the Barbara and Janine do a little tap dance for the talent show, and it's very uh, that was fun. That's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. I, I'm just gonna say the pharmacy scene. Oh, yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. With Joel McHale. Yes, and Weedman. Oh, she's so great. <laughs> Lauren Weedman. Who am I speaking with today? Rebecca Mozo. And Rebecca, what is your role here at New Filmmakers tonight? Um, I play Junie Butler in Kittens in a Cage. So is it more like slapstick or is it more like gritty? Like is it raw? What did Jillian make you do? Jillian made me do all kinds of filthy, filthy things. Like? And it was totally worth it <laughs> and amazing. Well, you have to watch it. You have to see. But it's, um, no, it's really, it's just, it's, it's very, it's very funny. It's about women and together how the relationships are and um, I, I love every single character in the show, if I'm going to be honest. So you play the lead in Kittens in a Cage mm -hmm. and you are blonde. I was blonde. I miss it. Yeah? Did you have a little bit more fun when you were blonde? I did because it was so different for me. I've been a brunette like all my life. I never thought I could ever be a blonde. Ever. Well, you're rocking both. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm excited to go back for season two, hopefully. Yeah, everyone's like rooting for a season two here. Me too. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, well, I'm really excited to see Kittens in a Cage. Awesome. I'll be up there sitting next to you, rooting Yay. for you. Well, who are we speaking with? With Harry Groner. Harry Groner. Harry Groner, a legend oh. of your own kind. Um, <laughs> in so, <my> own mind. <laughs> so what brings you out here today? Well, for this screening of Kittens in a Cage, and I'm uh, I'm excited to see it. I haven't seen any of the episodes. And I'm glad that we're going to be able to see it all at once. Absolutely. And uh, you were in Kittens in a Cage, am I right? I had a small role in it. I played the judge. I'm the one who uh, sentenced uh, dear Rebecca Mozo, my dear friend Rebecca Mozo, uh, to prison. How do you know Jillian? Um, we've known each other for, for quite some time when, uh, when she was working more as an actress. Um, and at one point she stayed, I think she was doing a, a, a play at the roundabout in New York. I could be wrong about this, but she was working in New York. That I do know. And she was staying in our apartment at the time while she was working there. And I was staying at a friend's apartment in Brooklyn. And, and uh, because I had gotten the job after Jillian had already come to New York and moved in. And then I got this job and I said, no, 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 don't move out. Don't move out. Just wait till the end of your run. I'll stay with my friend. And um, But she's a wonderful, wonderful actress. And I'm so glad that she's uh, is to directing and that she started to direct and direct these uh, uh, and I've seen clips of this and it's shot so beautifully and so well. They should just make it a film. What let's, do you think? Let's just make it a film and go with, <laughs> and go with it. Make it a film. Make it a film. <laughs> Tell them. Tell them. Make it a film. So what do you have coming up? Um, well at the moment that there's a film by Gore Verbinski called, uh, 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 called A Cure for Wellness. So you know the big news that happened yesterday? Yes, uh, isn't that the best in the world? Love wins. I love it. Right? I love, love it. wins. So cool. And how like serendipitous that it's very much like this is the LGBT film series for new filmmakers. And we're all here celebrating. Yeah. It's just a little bit out of bonus. We're really glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy yourself. Thank you very much. And this has been Major Film Events at New Filmmakers Los Angeles. See you next time.